With his infected feet and legs still causing him pain, Martin rests by the fire and tells the group about a much bigger test, his brain tumour. Oh, when I came out of the operation, man, I, I couldn't see out one eye, I couldn't walk on one leg. I was standing still and I, I wanted to walk over that way, so I would walk over that way. Can anyone get me some kindling from the beach? Tiny little bits. Bastard, this fire. The bastard. Suffering the after effects of yesterday's failed yucca hunt, Martin has been confined to camp. <sighs> so, nothing will catch apart from this termite mound. It's the only dry thing there is. Struggling, to be honest, but yeah. I feel like I'm losing it. What am I doing, you know, sitting here in this kind of never-ending cycle of filth in the camp and being soaking wet is shite. Nightmare. To be honest with you at the moment, I'm not quite sure why I'm here now. Why don't I just go home? You know, why call it a day and go home? Joe, where'd you find the limpets I'm using for bait? They're all the way down there. How, how far a walk is it, honey? About a quarter mile, half mile? Oh, why don't you just go there and you'll see snails? The islanders have been provided with basic fishing equipment. As soon as the rain clears, Eric is eager to provide a meal for the group. OK, where's a good fishing spot? Over there. Is it still there or is it rough? Oh. Oh, the gear, no idea. That's Eric. Pete, it reminds me a little bit of the disposition of my father. Not age-wise, but just uh, always a bit angry-wise. And very disapproving. It's a group of people I've never seen before, I've never worked with, I'm, I've never heard of, and I'm here with them. And uh, you must treat everybody with the same respect you expect. Oh, this is spooky. If I fall down, I can really freaking hurt myself. Oh. 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 Oof. It's too rough. Yeah, this is crazy. This isn't working. Face. It's too rough out there for my taste to fish. It's a real waste of energy, that. Pete's a little rough with an occasional testosterone explosion. <laughs> but, you know, it's all good. They sent me straight home. and. MRI'd it, and it was massive. With his infected feet and legs still causing him pain, Martin rests by the fire and tells the group about a much bigger test, his brain tumour. Oh, when I came out of the operation, man, I, I couldn't see out one eye. I couldn't walk on one leg. I was standing still, and I, I wanted to walk over that way. So I would walk over that way. Wow, dude, uh, you were logical. But the thing that saved me, absolutely <laughs> saved me, was EastEnders. Because mm. before I went to EastEnders, I, I didn't even know if I could remember lines. Mm. And then when I turned up and I had to play, mm. I had to do um, the character of Steve Owen. Yeah, Steve Owen was so full of life. Mate, you were amazing. He was, yeah. so, he, was, amazing. he was so full of charisma and confidence that that kind of helped me. I hope in the coming week, you know, the, the last week, that the mood lightens a little bit. I think people, when they come and talk to me, get a chance to chill out a little bit. You have to be best friends with everyone. Otherwise, you can't survive. There's not long to go now, and I want to see us all finish together. Right, plan. I'm going to go spearfishing. After Eric's unsuccessful fishing trip earlier, Pete is making another attempt 
to resolve the group's dire food situation. Crackers, you got a knife? No. Eric, you know where the, the, the knife is? I think it's in one of the knife cases. For the last three weeks, Eric has been responsible for looking after the knives in camp. Sake. So, what am I doing wrong, Pete? I've just asked you for it and you don't know where it is. Somebody so borrowed it. OK, who? I don't know. Well, they said so it doesn't Because everybody buys so knife from, uh, from so Jody listen, James. listen, we just need to know where the knives are. Oh. God. Sorry to make you cranky, Pete. It's not about being cranky, Eric. Stop saying that. Oh, there's a knife here. I wish Pete wasn't so condescending and cruel. It's cracky. Oh. I've tried to keep everyone as fed as possible with the nets, but it suddenly cut me. I'm starving. You're not starving. You're a bit hungry. Calm the f down. Go back. I've cut myself on a knife. Sally, huh? Cut my finger on a knife. Okay. You lot all saying you're hungry. I'm hungry, mate. Okay. Such a okay. idiot. Do these things happen? Pete has had a knife injury. It's still bleeding. Is someone around to give me a hand? Concerned about the severity of Pete's cut, Dr. Salia radios my safety team. We will come and review over. <laughs> doesn't wear knee stitches. What happens if you knee stitches? Do I have to go? I'm going. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We can take you for the treatment stitches okay. and everything. Who was going to do the next? Oh. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not leaving. I need to be here. With Pete adamant he isn't going to leave the island for treatment, my medical team come up with a temporary solution. I think we should bandage it and position it Bring so that it immobilises it. We're 100% happy with it all being Fine. done here. Fine. Thank God for that. The good thing is, there's no tendon damage. I'm not worried about the finger, I'm more worried about the necks. You all right? It's just annoying, mate, isn't it? Yeah. If I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> 